Hello friends, welcome to this new video and in this video we are going to talk about private networks. In 5G world, to the private network or as they call it non-public networks or NPNs is a new buzzword and everybody talks about private networks. In this video we are going to unlock some basic fundamentals about the private networks and how they were in existence since long. If you're watching this video on my LinkedIn or Facebook page, you can find the video description in the comment section. However, if you're watching this video on my YouTube channel, request you to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and press on the bell icon so that you can get early notification for all my future videos. If you need any further information, you can visit our website, which is www.learnisoglobal.com. Let us get started. Now, if you want to connect to me, you can connect to me on LinkedIn. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have a real uh, time community on Telegram where almost 2000 people are connect people are connected and you can join the Telegram link, Telegram channel using this link and all these links are given in the description box. Now, what is a private network? Let's try to understand that. First of all, Private network is just another network. Private network is just another network. That means it is just another network. It can be a 2G network. It can be a 3G network. It can be a 4G or 5G network. And it will have all the capabilities similar to the public networks. The second thing here is private network is not a new thing for 5G. Private network was in existence even before wireless networks, even in wireline networks. So let us understand how it all got started. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard about something called as PBX, which is private branch exchange. Many of our offices and either small or big or hospitals or hotels have some kind of PBX installed, which can be used for internal communication and which can also connect you to the external world. So it is not mandatory that all the PBX will offload to the public networks connecting to the outside world. They may be just for internal communication or they may be for internal as well as external communication. So many of our offices, hospitals, banks, right? Everybody was using some kind of private branch exchange. And typically they used to come in a box and that box used to have a lot of wires going to different desk desk and all these phones were connected to this particular exchange and this exchange works like a switch and will was switching all the calls within that particular office or building now how we are trying to you know move it to wireless network we are going to see that but again in wireless network it is not a very very new term the wireless networks we had variety of private net uh, private networks called as tetra p project 25 gsm also had a version called as gsmr lt also had a version called as ltr and all these technologies all these networks can be deployed any network whether it is gsm wcdma cdma lt or 5g can be deployed at deployed as a private network now what does that mean private network means it's a it's a piece of network which is designed, which is created, which is deployed for a particular enterprise. So it's not for the public use. The retail customer cannot buy the SIM card and use this particular network. So GSMR means this is a network which is built only for railways and can be used only for railway employees or maybe railway application. LT is a network which is uh, created for railway and only railway employees or railway application can be used over this network right so there are variety of networks another network was IDEN, which was from motorola right so like this there were many many private different kind of wireless network some of these technologies were designed for private networks specifically and some of these technologies were designed for public network and made some minor changes into that so that they can fit into private network space now why it is getting so popular in 5G? Why there is so much hype for private networks in 5G? As I have discussed in some of my previous videos, the 5G comes with lot of different use cases. 
At one end, we are looking for, let's say 20 Gbps kind of data rate. At another end, we are looking for 10 raised to the power six devices, 1 million devices per square kilometer. At another place, we are looking for latencies which are less than one millisecond. Now, having all these things in one single network is not an easy option for the operators. So there can be a lot of enterprise use cases which may not require all these things in one go. Also, enterprise use cases or enterprise networks may be restricted to a limited geography and for that they cannot really spend huge amount in infrastructure. And that's where private network comes into play. First of all, private networks will be designed for certain use cases. So they will be using certain spectrums. They will be available in limited geographical area, right? So there are so many limitations with the private networks and it will not be available globally available, you know, in a diff in is a large geographical area will not suit to all the different kind of use cases. So there can be one use case related to one enterprise and there can be another use case related to another enterprise. So there can be one use case. So some shipping yard can have their own private networks, can some oil refinery can have their own private networks, railways can have their own private networks and police can have their own private networks. So there can be some private network for mission critical applications as well. There can be some private network for industry automation as well. How we are going to deploy these networks? how you are going to allocate spectrum for these networks, that's a different story. We will not get into those things in this video. We're just trying to understand this at a high level. So 5G is not just another G, but it is coming as a disruption and enabling so many use cases. And frankly speaking, all these use cases cannot be fulfilled by public networks. So many of these use cases will require extensive deployment of private networks. However, we use another terminology in 5G for private networks, which is typically referred as NPN. NPN is called as non-public network. So private networks are called as non-public networks. How you are going to deploy these private networks in 5G? Let us try to understand the, some of the deployment models for the 5G, net, 5G private networks. Now, one of the easiest way to do it one of the easiest way to do it where enterprise can have their own standalone private network. What does that mean? In this scenario, the radio infrastructure, which is either 2G, 4G E node B or 5G G node B or the 4G or 5G core network is completely deployed and owned by the enterprise. So this company is going to buy these equipments, install these equipments, operate these equipments and provide services to their users. This is what we have standalone private network. Now, what are the challenges? It will come at a cost. It will be a huge cost for the operator to deploy all these things and also doing the maintenance of these networks. Now, these spectrums can be some kind of license spectrums or unlicensed spectrums and there are a lot of different kind of rules and regulation in different kind of countries right now if operator doesn't want to spend this money and don't want to you know uh, operate and maintain these networks don't want to have technical teams managing these networks internally what they can do is they can talk to some mno some kind of operators and ask those operators to deploy a private radio, private enterprise network, which has to be deployed and maintained by the mobile network operator. In this scenario, the E node B or G node B will be installed by MNO. The EPC or 5GC is installed or deployed by MNO, but it will be dedicated. It will be dedicated for the enterprise. So some piece of the network, some part of the network will be deployed for enterprise only and that that can be used only by enterprise only by enterprise now are they going to create a full-fledged epc or 5gc network for the enterprise answer maybe no so in future these piece of the network these piece of the network may come as a network in a box 
network in a box so you will get a single server and that server can accommodate almost all the network functionality and it may also include some of the radio functionality as well so instead of having a full scale hyperscale telecom networks we may have a single piece of box which can host the complete radio and core network functionality multiple companies are working on these kind of products and many of these products are commercially available by leading oems however if operator if enterprise don't want to have a dedicated network because this will again cost them a lot of money what we can have is we can simply use the radios the radio network which typically requires lot of investment can be shared between the enterprise and the mobile network operator so the radio networks can be shared between the enterprise and the mobile network operator but the core networks can be dedicated for enterprise and another core network is dedicated for mno so basically in this scenario we are just doing the ran sharing the radio network is being shared is being shared between the enterprise and mobile network operator and the core networks are dedicated or different for enterprise and the mobile network operator this is another model how you can deploy some of the resources for the enterprise however we have another option in 5g another feature of 5g network which is called as network slice network slice as a service so in this scenario mno have one physical network mno have one physical network but by using network slicing by using network slicing they can actually break down this one physical network into multiple logical layers and those logical layers are called as slices those slices will include some components of radio network some resources of radio network some resources of core network some resources of transport networks as well and those logical resources will be tied to one of the enterprise so in this case the enterprise is not going to get dedicated physical resources but some logical resources in the physical infrastructure of mno will be allocated to the enterprise so in this scenario the enterprise can order a slice at any point of time can use for a predefined time and release those resources to the mno once they are no more in use in this scenario the this is the most flexible option for the for the enterprise to use some kind of resources as a network slice so this is another mode of you know acquiring some of the private network resources from a mno right so this is just a high level idea about how the private networks work what are the different deployment option just to summarize first of all the private networks are just another network they are just another network however they are going to use a different set of spectrum some spectrums on lease some spectrums from the coming from the department of telecommunication and bodies like that or they can also use some kind of unlicensed bands as well the second thing is private network is not a new term for 5g it is used since the days of wireline networks in 2g 3g 4g networks as well however it is getting a lot of traction because 5g networks are use case driven and those use case cases cannot be fulfilled by the public network at a scale so to implement many of those use cases we need to deploy the private networks or as we call it known public networks npns however there are a lot of new features and functions created in 5g network to support known public networks i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video i request you to like the video as well as subscribe to my youtube channel and press on the bell icon for the early notification if you need any further information please visit www.lanizoglobal.com or connect to me on linkedin and let's try to learn from each other thank you much and have a great day